Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Arrowverse as a whole. Today we're going to be talking about the upcoming crossover to do with John Diggle slash Green Lantern. We have quite a lot more details about what is going down in the episodes that he's going to be showing up and that David Ramsey is directing. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so Entertainment Weekly just did a preview article with Todd Helbing, the showrunner of the show, and he confirmed a lot of things. Because we had lots of ideas going into this, we kind of thought this was going to be like one whole big crossover where they couldn't get everyone together like as a five show crossover, but they would have one character that would connect all the storylines across the five separate shows. And now we actually have some answers about what is going down to do with Diggle's appearance. Obviously recently you saw the set photos of Diggle on the set of Supergirl in episode 12. This was the episode that he directed of Supergirl, that being David Ramsey of course. This was also co-written by Azzy Tesfay, who plays Kelly Olsen in the show, who also actually suits up in this episode in her new suit. So we've seen him as Diggle on some of the sets, but we've only really seen the Supergirl photos, so we don't know if there's like any joining factors between his appearance there and on the other shows. But EW just released this article, which you can read in the description below after this video, but we're going to be going through it, and it's titled... Superman Lois Boss teases David Ramsey's turns as director and Arrow's Diggle. So David Ramsey is bringing his Arrowverse expertise to Superman Lois very soon. Also it must be noted Superman Lois comes back this Tuesday on the channel right now. We are preparing for Superman Lois to come back. We're going to have a review right after it airs. So be on the lookout for that along with my Flash review this Tuesday night. So, can't wait to have Superman Lois back. And in two episodes time, so not this week, but next week, you're going to see David Ramsey's episode. But it was confirmed that he's going to be showing up in a different episode as Diggle, rather than this episode, unlike Supergirl, where he's directing the episode and showing up. So, let's continue with this article. So, the actor is slated to appear as his Arrow character, John Diggle, and direct several episodes across the CW's shared superhero universe this season. His first stop, or at least the one that's airing first, is on May 25th, the episode of Superman Lois, which he helmed but doesn't appear in, titled Man of Steel. The hour explores Luther's backstory, that being the Superman and Lois Lex Luthor, quite a bit. And that was Todd Helbing revealing that to EW. And so, apparently, according to the actor who plays Lex on Superman and Lois, he says, we've been seeing little pieces of him here and there. And I think episode 7, which is the Man of Steel episode directed by David, is where you get a real big dive into him. And you understand where he's coming from, and I'm excited for the fans to see it because of how excited I was when I got to read it. So I believe this is actually the episode where in the new trailer they just dropped this right here. You see like a bunch of black suited supermans and they're going around destroying his city on his earth and Tyler Hoechlin looks awesome. This suit is awesome. Obviously it's the same suit that we saw back in Elseworlds and this is something that has been teased like his backstory as a whole and I'm very excited to see that Ramsey, that being David Ramsey of course, is directing this episode and so this is just me talking personally. I'm super excited to see the backstory of Luther and actually figuring out what exactly happened with his earth to do with the evil Superman that you see on the screen right here. Okay, so it continues. So in another interview conducted, the showrunner of Superman Lois said that the stuff he directed on Arrow was fantastic, that being David Ramsey of course, and he said just getting into the Luthor character and the backstory and really getting into his motivations and why he's doing this, I think David having played John Diggle could bring his expertise from the Arrowverse on how to tell these stories, so I thought he would be a perfect fit. So that is fantastic and I'm very excited that Todd Helbing is super satisfied with what they got in episode 7. But let's talk more about Diggle, because I guess that's kind of what mainly you guys are here for. So, this is how the article continues. So, in terms of his Diggle appearance, that comes later in Superman and Lois' season. The last time we saw Diggle, he was getting ready to move with his family to Metropolis when he found a bright green object at the site of a meteor crash. 
which was a nod to the prevailing fan theory he was destined to become Green Lantern, Jon Stewart. As of right now, it is unclear if that will play into Diggle's Superman Lois visit, and so this is a quote from the showrunner again, our episode gets into the mentality of where he is in his life based on everything that happened to him over the last several years, Helping said. And as previously reported, Ramsey will reprise his role as Diggle on Supergirl, Flash and Batwoman and has a mysterious role on DC's Legends of Tomorrow. According to Helbing, Ramsey's on-screen return was initially conceived as a multi-episode arc across the shows. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic squashed those plans. So this is huge, and let me just reiterate that. It was originally supposed to be a multi-episode arc across the shows, that being a crossover, like a five-show crossover. So this confirms that it's not going ahead as planned. However, that you reiterate right after this what exactly is happening. He is showing up on all five shows, and let's go into this. So. There was a five episode story, Helbing said. It was pretty cool and then because of availability and shutdowns and delays, it was impossible to make it make sense across the shows. There's still a through line, but it's not as A to B to C as planned. Ours is kind of a little bit more of a one-off, but thematically it still plays. So that is official confirmation of what is happening with the Diggle crossover this year. And obviously this doesn't confirm if the Green Lantern stuff is officially happening. Obviously this article does acknowledge it. And I feel like maybe we do get a teaser of that because Helbing said in this interview like it picks up in his mentality of where he's been in his life based on everything that's happened over the last couple of years. Obviously Arrow ended and then since that final scene with the green glowing light on him, people have been speculating that he probably became a Green Lantern aka John Stewart, but still called John Diggle, but like taking up that persona of a Green Lantern. And so, yeah, the Arrowverse was originally supposed to have a crossover this season, and that multi-episode arc would have involved Diggle. However, due to the pandemic and all the restrictions, they tried to make it happen, but they weren't able to make it happen in a way that would have been so streamlined, as Todd Helbin puts it, A to B to C. It is still A to B to C, but it's not as linked as it was before or as they would have liked it. And with the episodes of him showing up airing like not back to back to back, like, I mean, he's gonna show up later in Superman Lois' season, but it's not going to really align that much unless they change around the scheduling. Maybe they give like a show a break for one week and then they kind of readjust it so that all the episodes that week have Diggle in it. I'm not sure how it's all gonna line up with him showing up. But at least this five episode story is still going to be working and as Todd Helping confirms there is still a through line which is the important thing I think we should take away from here is that it's still a crossover and there is a link as to why he's showing up on all the different shows. But in some places it isn't going to be as streamlined and as connected as a normal crossover would be because obviously you guys know what normal crossovers are like right? You have one episode on another show, then you have another show, then you have the next one after that, and then you have the final one, or however many there is in that certain year, they all link heavily, and I mean the story is like one whole big story going across all of the shows, but now it seems like we're going to have more individual storylines, but with links to one another on those other shows. And so it's pretty clear that we're going to get like some episodes out of the five episodes he shows up in are going to be linked to each other, but then some of them are going to be more like one-offs, as Todd Helbing confirmed Superman Lois is going to be like. So I'm supposing maybe the Supergirl episode is going to be a bit different, and then maybe like the Flash links with Batwoman or something, or maybe the Flash links with Supergirl. I'm not 100% sure, but there is some sort of through line, but that through line might not link to like everything in the episode, but there is going to be some sort of like overall scheme for why he is showing up. And I think it's cool that, you know, he hasn't necessarily directed the episodes that he's going to show up in always. Yes, he's doing that on Supergirl, but on Superman Lois, he's directing episode 7, which is going to be happening in two weeks' time. And then he's going to be showing up again later, so that means he's literally come back to film 
after he's directed like a bunch of episodes on the other shows. So David's presence is going to be around for at least a long while on the shows this season, which I think ultimately is the most exciting thing. And also I want to see if anything to do with Green Lantern actually shows up and kind of figure out what has been happening to Diggle since Arrow ended. So I'm looking forward to all of this and thank you guys so much for watching this video. That's about it. I'm sorry for my croaky voice. I'm currently losing my voice today. I don't know why it's going, but it is, and I apologize if it's got croakier and croakier throughout the video. But for now, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you're new, and you can click right here to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.